which we do have to get to some breaking news out of Bellevue this morning where fire investigators say a disabled person died in an overnight apartment fire. Just a horrific outcome here. News Channel 5's Amelia Young is live near the Aventura Bellevue Apartments just off Old Hickory Boulevard. And uh, Amelia, what a fire crew said about how this even started. Yeah, Ben and Amy, uh, they said the call came in just before 2 o'clock and crews found heavy flames coming out of one of the bedroom windows that you can see uh, behind me right now. They said several of the uh, families that were living inside were already awake outside of the building uh, when that fire started, except that's when they had warned crews about one person still inside that, as you mentioned, unfortunately did not make it out. Now, that person was located once the flames uh, we're out in, and uh, again, that person, uh, crews believe, was disabled, was disabled uh, because they were unable to get out in time before uh, they were engulfed by the flames. Now, an NFD spokesperson said this operation took more response than normal due to low pressure from a nearby fire hydrant. Firefighters had to do what's called a relay process to combine hoses all the way down this more than a quarter mile long hill to get to Old Hickory Boulevard. And because of that, they needed more crews on scene, which actually have just now, it seems most of them have left. Now, decreasing temperatures this morning have made their jobs difficult, but but that hasn't stopped them from getting the job done. The temperatures are frigid. Uh, we all are aware of the winter weather advisories that we are under. Um, and those are temperatures that our firefighters are having to work in. And so when you combine those temperatures with the water that they are using to extinguish these fires, uh, it's, not, it's not pleasant for them, uh, but they have to continue to work through that. Now, all this water used uh, in this operation has flowed down the hill onto Old Hickory Boulevard in some parts near this complex. So if you're driving uh, through it, some of that is still blocked off. But if you'll be traveling through this area sometime this morning, just make sure to watch out for those slick spots, especially as we're continuing to see this weather uh, decrease. Send it back to you guys in the studio.